Hey folks, how you doing? This is Mahesh. Today, I got this little M.2 cloning DAC from a company called Alna. With this, you can supposedly duplicate your M.2 drives with a single click. And also, you can use this as a DAC to read and write the M.2 drives, sort of like an external storage. So I'll be putting all these claims to test later on in this video. It comes with the USB-C to USB-C cable and the USB-C to USB-A cable. Also this power brick that supports all voltages. And here it is. I think the sides are aluminum and the top and bottom are plastic. The source drive goes in here and the target drive in here. It says here the target drive has to be bigger or same as the source drive. It cannot be smaller. You can clone SATA to SATA or MVME to MVME only. USB-C port is here. Power button. Power cable goes in here. There's a lot of air vents on the sides and at the bottom. And now for the ultimate test. I'm going to try and clone my C drive, which is on this Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte. And I'm going to clone it onto this brand new Kingston ME2 1 terabyte drive. Both the PCI Express 4, Gen 4, NVMe drives, but the Samsung is twice as fast as the Kingston. So if all goes to plan after cloning, I should be able to stick the Kingston in my PC and I should just boot off that as if nothing happened. So let's go, babe. First stick in the power cable and press the power button. And then stick in the source and the target drives. Two blue lights come on here. Now press the clone button till this light starts blinking. That means it's cloning, babe. And it's done. All four lights are on. And it's pretty hot. Despite all the air vents and the aluminum enclosure, it's gotten pretty hot after 82 minutes of cloning. Yes, that's how long it took to clone the one terabyte drive. Exactly 82 minutes. First power off the device, and then remove the drives. The reason it took so long might be because even though the Samsung has fast reads, this Kingston has much slower write speeds. So I'm going to stick it in the M.2 port here, where my C drive was, and see if it works. Now turn on the motherboard. And boom, baby, it just works. I'm stunned right here. I didn't even have to set the boot priority in the BIOS. Holy shit. It just works. And here it is. The Kingston has the C drive. It just works. Amazing. Everything works great. Not a single blue screen. Crystal this mark shows great numbers. The read speed is faster than what's mentioned on the Amazon page. <laughs> Alright, so to check the docking feature, I'm going to connect this straight to the USB-C port on the back of the motherboard. So I'll get the maximum possible data transfer speeds. So I took out the second M.2 drive on my motherboard, the one I used for storage, and I stuck it in the source. It's also Samsung 980 Pro, but this one's 2 terabytes. So when I turn on the PC, it's just there. Like nothing happened. It's amazing. <laughs> For read speed, I get slightly over 1000 megabytes per second, which is 8 gigabits per second, which is just below the 10 gigabits maximum speed you can get with USB 3.2 Gen 2. So this little thing just blew me away. I never expected it to clone the C drive. In fact, the guy from Alna who sent this to me for review said he cannot clone the C drive. So this is worth his weight in gold. Only downside is it got pretty hot during the cloning. 
Use the link in the description. Get one yourself. Thanks for watching. See you later.